Yahusha, Joshua 11. And it came to pass when Yavin, king of Chetzor, had heard those things, that he sent to Yovav, king of Medan, and to the king of Shimran, and to the king of Achsaf, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Kinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Do'ur on the west, and to the Kena'ani on the east, and on the west, and to the Amori, and the Chiti, and the Perizzi, and the Yavusi in the mountains, and to the Chavi under Cheman in the land of Mitzpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Merom to fight against Yashar El. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Be not afraid because of them. For tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up, eth all slain before Yashar El. You shall hoe at their horses and burn at their chariots with fire. So Yahusha came and all the people of war with him against them by the waters of Merom suddenly, and they fell upon them. And Yahuwah delivered them into the hand of Yashar'el, who smote them and chased them unto great Sidon and unto Misrafoth, Ma'im, and unto the valley of Mitzpah eastward. And they smote them until they left them none remaining. And... Yahusha did unto them as Yahuwah bade him. He hoed eth their horses and burnt eth their chariots with fire. And Yahusha at that time turned back and took eth Chatzor and smote eth the king thereof with the sword. For Chatzor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote eth all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt eth Chatzor with fire, and eth all the cities of those kings, and eth all the kings of them did Yahusha take, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and he utterly destroyed them as Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, commanded. But, as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Yashara'el burned none of them, save Eth Chatzor only. That did Yahusha burn. And all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Yashara'el, took for a prey unto themselves, eth, but every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left them any to breathe. As Yahuwah commanded eth Moshe his servant, so did Moshe command eth Yahusha, and so did Yahusha. He left nothing undone of all that Yahuwah commanded eth Moshe. So Yahusha took eth all that land, the hills, and eth all the country of the Negev, and eth all the land of Goshen, and eth the valley, and eth the plain, 
and at the mountain of Yashara'el, and the valley of the same, even from the mount Shalach, that goes up to Seir, even unto Baal, God, in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Chaman. And at all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Yahusha made war a long time with Eth, all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Yashara'el, save the Chevim, the inhabitants of Givan. All other they took Eth in battle, for it was of Yahuwah to harden Eth their hearts, that they should come against Eth Yashara'el in battle, that he might destroy them utterly and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as Yahuwah commanded Eth Moshe. And at that time came Yahusha, and cut off Eth the Anakim from the mountains, from Hevran, rather from Hevran, from Devir, from Anav, and from all the mountains of Yahuda, and from all the mountains of Yashara'el, Yahusha destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakim left in the land of the children of Yashara'el, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Yahusha took Eth the whole land, according to all that Yahuwah said unto Moshe. And Yahusha gave it for an inheritance unto Yashara'el, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war.